So police departments in the state of California have body cam footage that they can decide to release to the public or not. And we're at the Campbell Police Department related to an investigation that we're doing where there are a number of body cams involving a court appointed therapist by the name of Marsha Clark. And we're requesting those records because they are a matter of public interest. There are a number of victims associated with this alleged crime and there are also a number of people who are entitled to due process. And public oversight of these body cams is really why we put body cams on police officers in the first place. But departments have discretion and that means they can decide whether or not to give us the body cams. There is no law that says that they have to give us the body cams. So if they don't give us the body cams, only the police, the prosecutors, and the people who are charged are able to see that. And victims of crimes are not able to see how these cases are investigated and whether there could be potential problems or things they don't ever learn about that come out in court. And so we're going around to police departments throughout the state of California and we're requesting body cams for cases that we're looking for and that we're looking at and investigating. And Campbell Police Department related to therapist Marsha Clark, who is appointed as a reunification therapist in family court, was our stop here today. Public records can be requested from police departments either verbally or in writing, and police departments are not allowed to put restrictions on those records, meaning they're not allowed to do a prior restraint on speech and make it more cumbersome to get the records, because the public right to know overrides any informal policies and procedures, such as police departments requesting identification. And there was a taxpayer lawsuit filed on this very issue in Santa Clara County against several police departments that were asking for identification as it related to public records being requested. And the court in the 6th District Court of Appeal said that police departments can't engage in that kind of conduct. Ready? Specific incident or... So I'm going to give you a range, okay. but I do have one thing very specific. Okay. Okay. So I'm looking for... And I've done a records request for this before, but this is made on behalf of a group known as a Women SV Court Watchers. So the email to send this to is Women SV Court Watch at gmail.com. After we began to report on a nonprofit that was engaging in some conduct that included illegal referrals of divorce attorneys, a number of men and women got together and decided to start formally court-watching local proceedings in family and in criminal courts, and they also started asking for help in requesting records. And, and the person, the contact, I believe, is um, Lexi Logan. So you can direct communications to Lexi Logan. Okay. I don't At, know if it's an I or a Y. Um, somebody in Los Gatos just asked me this. I think it's L-E-X-I. Or it might be I-E, and then Logan, L-O-G-A-N. Okay. Okay? Yep. So this is what I'm looking for. On July 29th, 2022, mm -hmm. there was an incident, and the incident took place at the therapist Marsha Clark's offices. Marsha Clark, and it's M-A-R-C-I-A, -A, I believe. Marsha Clark, C-L-A-R-K. And she is a marriage and family therapist, which we abbreviate MFT. And her address is on, um, I think it's 653 East Campbell, but I'm doing that from memory, so I'm not positive. But it is on East Campbell. It's in that little gray building that's there. Okay. Okay? So this is what I need. I need the call for service. I need all public records that can be produced that are required to be produced under the law related to that incident. Okay. And then I understand that body cams are discretionary and I understand the department has an informal policy of making a rote recital on the determination of the release of those body cams. So I'm specifically asking for a review of the body cams as follows. I do not need any portion of the body cams that are um, a violation of the privacy rights of the 15-year-old girl who was present in the offices that day. 
That should not be written anywhere in my public records request. That is a minor child. She's 15 years old. Yes. Okay. Okay. I need the police officers. I want the call from Marsha Clark or any other person. The 911 call. The 911 call. And Marsha Clark, before she called 911, she told the police officers that she called B.J. Fadham, who is a, an attorney in the area. He's a San Jose-based attorney. He's a minor's counsel. He's a private judge. And he's a private divorce attorney. So you were saying that Marsha Clark called either Faith, who's transitioning to Alex, who's a juvenile, or Lori Wannabe, and then also called D BJ Fadham. And if they reached out to us via 911 or anyone else. The public right to know is so important that police departments are required to provide the information to the public unless specifically there are issues related to privacy. And therefore, we always want to clarify the records that might be available and the department is required to assist us in getting the records that they are lawfully required to produce. I'm giving you, I'm trying to clarify as much as where you might find the records because I don't know who might have called, so I'm telling you what I do know. Okay. And, and she told the police officers on body cams that she had called those people first before she called 911. Okay. So it's mentioned on the body cam. Right. Okay. For nearly two years, we've been investigating this case out of Campbell, California, and it involves a young 15-year-old girl who was sitting in the offices of a court-appointed therapist to talk about reunification therapy with her father. She wasn't in any summer camps or extracurricular activities. She was attending this therapy session, as she had done and other children just like her have done for years. But when one of the fathers involved in another case came into the office that day, Marsha Clark told the police a story that seems to conflict with the other witnesses and the facts in the case. And when witnesses are not credible or when they lie for some reason or motive that is unclear, then society is harmed because innocent people may go to jail and guilty people may be let out free. And that could be a public safety issue. She also, on the body cams, um, she describes her files related to her clients, to the police officers. She describes the use of her private files, and she, in talking about the um, suspect's children, says that the files were old, even though they were actively being seen as therapists, okay. and she said that she didn't have paper files on them, but then she made a comment about digital. So I'm looking for the body cams where she describes that. Marsha Clark is a court-appointed therapist that is under the Business and Professions Code and other laws. And I want anything where she was telling a police officer anything related to her therapist that would apply to other, other patients and other clients that pay her money. And then Marsha Clark said that the suspect's sister was crazy. Okay. I want the body cams of her saying that. So if the department chooses... Sister? Yes. Okay. So um, if the department tells me they're not going to give me any body cams, I need the legal reason. If it's investigative, then I want to know if somebody else would have a right to get it via subpoena or how they would, ha how they would get that to be able to make that information public. The, a therapist making a mental diagnosis on somebody they've never treated is a matter of public interest. And so that is the reason that I'm requesting that portion of the body cam. Okay. Okay. Got it. And you want the, if not, you want the legal reason for why not and who could get it. And That's right. And I'm telling you for clarification why I'm asking for it. It's newsworthy and it's also educational. Police departments and other agencies subject to the Public Records Act are required to assist you in clarifying the records that you are seeking so that they can produce the records they're required to produce based on the law. It educates the public that is court ordered to pay Marsha Clark. It also educates parents who might privately pay her or reach out to her. And so anybody hiring a therapist has a right to know 
that when somebody breaks into their office with a gun, that the therapist's response is to call an attorney and another parent rather than 911 first. That's the newsworthy issue that I want body cams to be able to show that. Okay. Okay? Public records should always be requested in writing or if you're requesting it verbally, you should always record what you're asking for so that you leave a record of what you were requesting and what you end up getting produced because you may have to fight the issue in City Hall or in court if you don't get the records that you're entitled to. That's it. I promise not to hurt your hand anymore. <laughs> no worries. That's all? That's it. Oh, of course. You Bye. What's your name? Marissa. Marissa, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay.